Hello everybody. This lesson I show you how to uh, create login with the Google API into the system using Laravel 5.6. Yes. So follow me. Like below. In the first step is uh, we go to the Google or you can type in the GitHub uh, to install Laravel social line like this or you can copy. Yes, I copy here. Okay, you can pass code here to install Laravel social line. When we install the complete already, you can copy here. Yes, copy the Laravel social line to the provider. Go to the config app.php. Yeah, I saw you already on the how to log in with the Facebook API. Okay, you can pass here. So we go to the copy as uh, from uh, like us. Copy here and go to find a like us. You can pass below as uh, like this. When we configure app.php already. Yeah, you can copy from the GitHub. Yeah, I copy the code here. Yes. Go to config folder again and click the service.php. So we pass code like this. Okay. But right now I want to change to the GoGo. Yes. And this is the GitHub. ID you can reflect with the Google ID to dot env file for example like this you Google's ID okay I copy from here I reflect code Okay, let's go go script. Go, go script and go go you are a redirect to. Yes, when I config in the service.php file, I want to sell. Yeah, when we say already, you can copy here. Go go ID into the .env file, please. Okay. I pass here. Okay. I copy the secrets. Copy Google URL. Yes, when we I copy this already, we go to the create API Google. So you go to browser and type the console that yeah, you can type the console like this space yes yeah, this is the that you want to uh, type in to create the Google API Okay, right now I press enter. Okay, you can choose the uh, Gmail that you want to create the API. For example, I want to create API with the uh, uh, remission k8 at gmail.com. Yes, I type my password. Right now you can as a and more API and the switch to run API. Click here. Yes, when I click already, you can see the welcome to new the API library. When I click the already, I want to find uh, API. Yes, Google plus API. Not click Google domain API. You can click the Google plus API here like me 
yes and you can click the manage okay right now you can uh, see the information that go go so here so we go to the you can see the description to use this API you may need to you may need credit install click credit install to get started okay click the credit install and right now click on the box you can choose the all art client ID yeah click the website because we want to hosting uh, Google API with the web application so right now I want to the display name to show the user when login to Google. Okay, you can write by yourself or anywhere word that you want to display. I for example Laravel G plus. Okay, when I agree as already the name, I copy the pass from the local host. I copy here and pass. Yeah, right now the error occurs, so we move to the uh, flash and press enter, or you can move the mouse. When I config already, there is no error anymore. In the below, you want to the copy here and pass. This is the redirect we want to redirect when the user click the HTML button to log our system or your system for example Laravel, Google and Corbex your okay when I create already I want to click the create button yeah when we create the and click when click the on the button so the dialog box you can copy Okay, you can copy here. Yeah, go to the dot env file and I pass Google ID. Yes, copy the client script. I copy here. Yeah, pass Google script. And you can in the last red direct you can copy or you can write by yourself, for example, I copy the URL here and pass. I want to ask Google slash callback URL. Yes. When I create already, I want to save. Yeah. I want to close the tabs. Yeah, when I create already, I want to cheat have again. You can see the introduction below. Yeah, copy. I go to apps, HTTP, controller, auth, and the login. We want to import social line switch. Okay, use auth, use app user model yes when i configure like this already i want to go i want to the directory database click migration and click the user tabboard.php okay you can add the column provider and provide ids that i saw you already from the facebook login okay. Yeah, we we want to go dot env file again. And right now I want to create a database name. For example, Laravel with Google. And the username root my password database. There is no. Yes, I input now. When I create already, I click save. Yeah, we want to create a database. Click new. And my database name. Laravel dot go go. Yeah, we choose the language we want to support with the Unicode. I choose the user app general. Click buttons create database. When I create as already, I click code. Yes, 
PHP addition make we want to create us yeah authentication scaffolding creates already so I want to refresh page you can see the login and the register menu here okay we want to run server again okay refresh again yeah right now you can uh, click the login and show the button login register so the uh, form register so I want to add the button uh, register with the Google we go to the resource use and I want to click on click the register okay I add the uh, plot here You, are, you can go to route web.php web.php you can write code like this this is the URL that I want to redirect to yeah auth and the provider name this is the provider name refer to the Google you can go to register again and on Google. And register with Google. Okay, when I agree uh, at code HTML already. I go to the result again and click on click the login.blet.php. Yes, I want to pass code here. Okay, when I say already, I refresh page again. Yeah, you can see the register with the Google. Okay, so we go to the controller again, click the HTTP. Controller, arts and choose the login controller. I want to the right code here. And you go to the GitHub again, or you can copy the code here. For example, I want to copy code from here. Yeah, pass. I want to delete code that I don't want to need. You can open. Yes, we want to reflect the provider. Okay, I provide the variable provider. I copy here. I want to add the provider variable. Whatever I choose, and this is the provider. You can delete it halves and post provider I add the code step less yes when I agree already I want to return token from the Google yes we want to sell yeah, and I want to refresh page Okay, run migration again. PHP addition migrate. Yeah, right now the database or right now the table or file migration created into the Laravel Google database. You can click the user and you can see the field provider and provide these. So we go to the app and click the user.php. You don't forget to add the provider and ID here. Okay, run. I want to refresh again and I click the register. Oh, yeah, we run the server again. You 
exactly the register with the with Google. Yeah, right now I want to choose the Gmail that I want to log in with. For example, I choose the remix song. Okay, right now redirect the token from the uh, Google. Yeah, I want base. Yeah, right now I go to the login again. I want to add code. Yes, I want to reflect code here. You can write by yourself. Okay, you don't forget to write. Okay, we add the code more. Okay, you don't forget to add the code below. Okay, when I as I input code already, I want to see again. Yeah, we go to the refresh that the best there is no the record. So I want to the login. For example, I click the register with the Google or you can just the login. Okay, I go to the login. I want to refresh. Login. Reflect again. Okay, login. Go go. Okay, when I click the register, click the button register with the go go. Yeah, there is already login successfully to my system using the log uh, using the google api yeah, this is the remission so i want to refresh the database here as yeah, you can see the remix song okay right now i want to the log again okay, register again yes log into successfully automatic when uh, and then there is no create the record again because the check mean that uh, remage and remix song remix song ka gmail already in the my database case run i want to finish this lesson in the last time i want allow you to subscribe like and share uh, my video how to create Login with the Google API to Laravel 5.6. Okay, say goodbye.